Do you know the fineness of cement impacts greatly the heat of hydration? Yes it do, a cement with more fine particles tend to have more water requirement for the hydration reaction. So, in today's amazing video, we're going to explore the fineness of cement test. Are you ready? Hello everyone, it's me Saad from DefineCivil.com. If you're new to my channel don't forget to hit subscribe button and click the bell icon. Well, fineness of cement is a very important physical property of cement. It defines the particle size and the surface area of cement particles. There are two methods of determining the fineness of cement in laboratory. That is through sieve analysis or through plane air permeability apparatus. But our this specific video only deals with the first method that is through sieve analysis. Here's the apparatus you need for this laboratory test. First we need a sieve of size 90 micron that is firm and durable frame, free of irregularities. Then we need a physical balance that is capable of weighing 10 grams to the nearest of 10 milligrams. For removing lumps and agglomerates you can use bristle brush or glass rod. For shaking sieve you can use a shaking table, if you like to. Now here is the procedure of the test. First we will stir and shake the cement sample in a stoppered jar for minimum 2 minutes to disperse lumps and agglomerates. After a gap of 2 minutes, we then stir the powder gently with dry rod to uniformly distribute the fines. After that we can fit the tray under the sieve and take 10 grams of cement sample being careful to avoid loss. Now we can fit the lid on the top and agitate the sieve manually or by using shaker to pass the fine material through the sieve. After that we can remove the sieve and weigh the residue carefully. We'll express this weight as the percentage of the 10 grams taken previously. We repeat the steps to get minimum of 3 readings and we Here's how we can prepare the laboratory report. We take our 1 equals weight of cement residue in grams left after sieving. For the second test we take our 2 equals weight of second cement residue in grams left after sieving. For the grid we take R3 equals weight of third cement residue in grams left after sieving. Now our average would be equal to R1 plus R2 plus R3 divided by 3. This R average as percent age would give you the fineness of cement sample. Now in the last part of our video, we'll look into the significance of fineness of cement test. Fineness of cement impacts at least 5 of the properties of cement mix. So, I'll try to briefly explain all one by one. The first one is bleeding, which is the appearance of cement slurry on top of concrete surface. Now the bleeding reduces considerably by increasing fineness of cement. As you're increasing the surface area of particles, more water gets absorbed into the cement particles. The next one is hydration. Hydration is the reaction of cement compounds with water to form a dense mass. Increasing fineness of cement would require more water for the hydration of the cement. So, as a result you may have to adjust the water cement ratio of the concrete mix design. The next is drying shrinkage. Drying shrinkage increases as a result of fineness. You're adding more water due to finance and more water will escape when concrete will get dry. The next is workability. More fines mean you need more water to achieve a desired consistency of cement. The last one is rate of strength. Well, increasing fineness would increase the rate of strength gain. You know what the rate of strength gain is an important consideration for precast concrete elements and structure. So, that's all about our today's video. I hope you'd like the way I just explained such a boring subject. If you do, please don't forget to hit subscribe button and share this super interactive video with your fellows. Thanks for watching.